Months have passed since allegations against Mr. Beast emerged, ranging from illegal lotteries to promoting gambling to children. Since then, his reputation has been in a downward spiral, yet he has chosen to remain silent as if denying the gravity of the accusations. But the reality is far from denial. In fact, Mr. Beast, also known as Jimmy Donaldson, has officially been sued by the state of California. The charges include hazardous working conditions, failure to pay minimum wages, and even SA claim. Despite these serious allegations, Mr. Beast refuses to address them publicly. So why the silence? My theory is that Mr. Beast is bracing for the worst. He knows he's facing the possibility of losing everything and is likely trying to stockpile money from his cash cow, his company, so that if things do fall apart, he'll at least be financially secure. This could explain why he continues to make YouTube videos as if nothing has changed and why he's promoting his new food brand, Lunchly, in collaboration with Morgan Paul and KSI. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Since these allegations surfaced, it's worth noting who Mr. Beast was associated with. Logan Paul has been the center of controversy himself, from filming a dead body in Japan and turning into a joke, whereas KSI has been known to be spending time with adult actresses on dating shows. And let's not forget that these influencers are pushing unhealthy snacks on their child audiences. It's not a good look for Mr. Beast. But back to the main question, why is Mr. Beast silent? It seems to be a PR strategy, either he believes that his PR team is skilled enough to make the problems disappear, or he's hoping that staying silent will cause people to eventually forget the issue, similar to what Cody Ko did during his controversy. However, none of these tactics are working because his PR team isn't handling the situation effectively. Instead of addressing the allegations, they've advised him to keep promoting unhealthy foods and continue his gaming show, which also has its own issues. For example, a man was recently hospitalized after a tower collapsed on him during the filming of the series. A Mr. Beast crew member was allegedly hospitalized on September the 11th after part of a tower at Beast Games collapsed on them while filming. The accident took place at the end of filming on September 11th when a 6x6 piece of a tower fell on the unnamed person. This guy went from Mr. Beast for president to the most hated YouTuber in a span of a month. The notion that people will forget just because Mr. Beast has a mass audience of around 300 million simply doesn't hold water. As the saying goes, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. And Mr. Beast is falling harder as time passes. At this point, it seems likely that he's just tried to make it through the year without losing millions. If his silence isn't a result of misplaced faith in his PR team, it could mean that Mr. Beast himself has lost hope he might be seeking an escape route from this situation by continuing to upload videos and starting as many new ventures as possible, he could be trying to gather enough money to withstand the online backlash. Perhaps he's even considering retiring or opening a new company under a different alias. After all, with the generation of wealth he's accumulated, it's not impossible. The only thing stopping him from retiring might be his ego. Mr. Beast is known for flaunting his financial success and intelligence in navigating YouTube, and it's possible that he's too proud to step away from the drama. Maybe he's waiting for an opportunity to pull off a strategic move that will exonerate him from these allegations, or perhaps by finding a scapegoat, much like his team allegedly tried to do with Dog Pack after the release of his first video. It wouldn't be surprising if Mr. Beast tried to pin the blame on someone with no family, a criminal background, or a history that makes them an easy target. But here's the thing, people are quick to move on from scandals like this, especially if the blame is shifted. Still, we have a few months left in the year, so let's see how this all plays out for Mr. Beast, or rather, Jimmy Donaldson.